Right, today I'm going to talk about happiness and how to get happiness now. I'm going to talk about delaying happiness, future happiness, past happiness, sadness, but above all, how to be happy now. A lot of people always wait for a bit of happiness, so they kind of peg it onto some kind of future condition, like once I go travelling, once I quit this job or get married, or once I have children or build an extension on my house or once I get rich, once something happens basically, I'm going to be happy at that point. And do you know what, you probably won't if, you, if you're thinking that way because really it's the state of mind, um, a lot of happiness is the way you, the way you approach your, your current moment in time. So if you always train yourself to be happy in the future, you know, that is the state of mind. So you're always gonna be this person who's happy in the future. You're probably not gonna be happy in that future moment because when you get the extension on your house, you know, you get married, then you want a child, you've got a child, you want another child. If you want a different job, you want a different job. Or if you want to get rich, you want to get richer. So if you just try and accept what you've got right now, that's a really good starting point for you. So any kind of future happiness is madness. And the thing that people kind of don't realise is that really, if, you, if you're bringing yourself closer into yourself, so rather than trying to push yourself outwards and always grasping for this or that, money, you know, often wealth, love, um, you know, all the, the popularity, all the things that make people think they're going to be happy, rather than thinking that that's going to make you happy, bringing yourself closer in towards yourself and making yourself whole and integrating your body, your mind, your soul is something you can do with absolutely nothing. You know, bread and water and a bit of peace and quiet. and kind of getting yourself on a, on a very neutral kind of brainwave level and really cutting out these external reliances. You start cutting them out. What I was really surprised about was, um, when I tried this, was that the, the true freedom comes from giving up stuff. All the things you thought were important, just try giving them up for a week or two and see how much you feel released because it's actually those things that own us. What we think that we own them. We think, oh, when I'm successful, you know, I'll get a great car, I'll get a hot girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever it is. But actually, you know, that's drawing you and that's shackling and chaining you. Freedom is not needing anything. So there's a slight query about what if you're sad? What if something bad happens to you right now? You're in a bad situation, you're injured, one of your family is ill, you know, God forbid someone dies or something bad happens. Well, actually, sadness, you can be happy within your sadness. Sadness is a natural state. People try and pursue happiness as this goal. I'd like to kind of suggest you kind of mold that in fact, if you just go for inner peace, all right? Inner peace you can have all the time. You've got your breathing, breathe in, breathe out. You can have inner peace. You don't need anything or anyone else. Happiness, the problem with trying to be happy all the time is that say if one day you're not happy because that bad thing happens, you're gonna have a double whammy. You're gonna have number one is the bad thing and number two is your goal that you had in your mind that I must be happy, you failed in that. So not only you've got to deal with the bad thing, you've got to deal with the failure of fail to be happy and that compounds it so it's gonna make you more sad. Whereas if you just kind of aim for inner peace, all right, and then happiness will flow and it will come, you know, and it will be up and down and life is a bit of a, a roller coaster, but you'll just be able to be more happy overall. So I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, comment, any questions, I'll definitely reply, and um, see you on the next video, cheers.